their people's head of International Boxing Federation. We met in Berlin at IBF convent. Many world champions showed up at the meeting. Atmosphere is terrific. Yeah, we're we're really really excited about the turnout and uh, the participation of the champions. Um, the city of Berlin has been great. Um, Europe in general has been great. We have lots of representation from all over Europe, so we're very happy with the turnout. Please tell boxing fans what do you do? What happens at such convents like this one? Um, well, we have social events like the one you just attended, where we honor our champions. Um, Part of our convention is for our officials to get together and, and in a social atmosphere. But starting tomorrow, we do more of the business of the IBF. Uh, there'll be reports from our directors. Um, we'll have a rules and ratings meeting on Thursday we'll ha uh, where different promoters will b have an opportunity to present their boxers to the ratings committee for possible ratings with the IBF. Uh, what we do annually with our promoters is we review the rules to make sure that they're relevant. We don't want to have any rules that are prohibitive, and we don't want to have any rules that we're not going to follow. So we review the rules and get feedback from the promoters and managers and boxers, as well as the membership in general. So we'll review those and just take care of the corporate business of the IVF. One of the biggest mysteries for fans is rating fighters. Tell us, how do you rate them? How well, do you know that one fighter should be above the other? Is that, can you compare it to sell, selling a product? Well, for the manager, the manager and the promoter would sell the project. Um, ratings is subjective. We could have five people and you and I would arrange them from one to five differently. But what we do is we evaluate how many fights you have, uh, the duration of the fights, whether it's 10s, 6s, 8s, or 12s, um, the level of the competition you're fighting. And we take it an extra step. Um, I was previously the ratings chairman. If I found someone that was 15 and 0, I'd say, hey, that's a great record, but let me see the guys that he was fighting to get to 15 and 0. So you're constantly evaluating the records of the fighters and how often they fight and, you know, just the level of their competition. International Boxing Federation uh, recognizes international and intercontinental, intercontinental champions. Which titles are, you know, um, better? Which title gives a boxer better position in rating? Well, the, the intercontinental ratings are primarily, I mean, just as it dict I mean, just as it, the name implies, um, Africa, Asia, Europe. Um, so what we try to do from all of our regions, the regional champions that we may have in Africa, the Pan Pacific region, um, Latin America, we try to incorporate them into the intercontinental ratings so they get to more international experience. Our international ratings primarily um, are the United States, Canada, and Mexico, although we do have some in Europe. So I would probably say the more prestigious of the titles would be the intercontinental next to the world title. Uh, could you please say something about your cooperation with other governing bodies like WBO, WBA, WBC, especially because we know that there's some problems with Suleiman? <laughs> um, actually, I, we get along well with them. Um, there's this misconception that there's competition uh, amongst us and there's competing interests. I, I know the presidents of all of the other organizations as well as their executive directors. Um, we work together, our, our common goal is, is the good of boxing. Um, I wouldn't call the situation with the WBC a problem. I, I think more accurately, we'd say there's a difference of opinion <laughs> on certain things. Um, but we're gonna try and work them out. Uh, I was just with, I have a fantastic relationship with Paco Valcarcel at the WBC. Uh, I mean WBO, I'm sorry. Um, I work well with Hilberto Mendoza Jr. I was just with him in Panama. And we're trying to develop some things that we can work on collectively for the good of boxing. I was just with uh, Mauricio Suleiman down in Argentina and we had a chance to talk. And there's a few things that we, we'd like to develop more 
between the organizations before we put them out publicly because it's, it's in the infancy, but we do work together. There is cooperation between the organizations. Jose Suleiman some time ago said that his organization will not recognize other bodies, which means that he will not agree for any champion to unify titles. And you don't call it a problem. I, again, I think it's a disagreement. Um, his policy is his policy. Um, and he is entitled to do that with his organization. Um, I am a little uncomfortable with the policy because our theory, and I think the other three organizations w would agree with me, that for the sport, for the fans, and for everyone involved, unification is good. Um, for years, everyone says there should be one champion. That's one of the biggest criticisms that we're dealing with right now, that the titles are fragmented. Um, I just think the policy that the WBC has right now, um, it prevents us from having one unified champion in each weight division. But uh, I haven't had a chance to sit down with Mauricio or Jose to speak to them personally about it. Um, we chatted briefly in passing, but we haven't had any extensive conversation. So perhaps we can come to a happy medium and, and figure out some kind of solution, because I, I think that that's best for boxing right now. I would like to know your personal opinion on Golden Boy versus Top Rank Beef, which prevents some top fights from happening and leads to situations that, you know, mandatory challenger will not fight for the title because they are different promoters who cannot get along well? Well, I think that's a dispute that everyone would like to see settled. Um, and I think that both of them have top-rated talent. I mean, fantastic talent, some of the best talent in boxing. Um, I hope that they can get it together uh, because I think it would be good for the sport. Um, I, I don't know the specifics um, if I believe that Everything I read on that, it would have something to do with ego, but I think once it comes down to this, both of these guys are very successful businessmen, and I think that they can come to some common ground that'll be mutually beneficial. Um, I think that this dispute's gonna die down soon. There's, there's also one controversial situation at middleweight when Sam Soliman fought Felix Sturm and he won that fight and then he was caught on PEDs but yet uh, the, the decision was overruled I think but Soliman is still number one rated at IBF. Well, um, so? okay. The decision was determined to be a no contest by the BDB, the German Federation. Um, right now that decision is being appealed. Uh, I don't want to say too much right now because during this convention all of the involved parties were planning to meet. Um, we're going to try and resolve this problem. Of course we have to do it within the framework of the IBF uh, rules as well as the BDB rules. So hopefully we can all get together and come to some kind of solution. Um, as soon as we reach a solution and work through all of the legalities and make sure that first law is being complied with as well as rules, we're going to put out uh, some kind of solution that I hope will be equitable and we'll take it from there after the meeting. Thank you, Dara. Thank you very much.